Hey, this is Game Hunter, um, and we're doing another roguelike, and uh, some of you may know, just based on what this looks like, that we're playing, uh, you know, I don't know whether or not to pronounce it brogue or b-rogue, but, um, you know, I kind of like brogue, it sounds far more <laughs> amusing to me, so, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I'm just going to call it brogue, I guess. And also, I, I saw this one guy call it Brogue. In fact, uh, usually when I'm, I'm doing roguelikes, uh, I usually check just to see if it's been done before, if, see whether or not I'm charting new territory and stuff. And it turns out somebody's actually done a, an LP of this. I'm just going to put it in the link. You know, you guys can uh, compare and contrast and blah, blah, blah. Uh, it sounds like I, I didn't really watch much of it yet. I, I wanted to do this blind, as I will be. It... Uh, at the very least, the first couple of minutes gave me the impression that he might have actually been no, uh, had some know-how about the game. So, um, so anyway, this is B Rogue, uh, Brogue. I'm already gonna get that messed up. And uh, I remember just like you can examine things and highlighting over them and stuff. So this is a very, uh, it, I mean, it, it looks like it's. Uh, console, but it's definitely using graphics, although, in, you know, kind of a, one might say an archaic way, it's, it's, it's a tiles layout, basically. Um, so, and this is us, although I guess this is also the dungeon entrance there, yeah, there it is. So yeah, okay, grass-like fungus. I guess we just, we can move with the mouse, which is nice. I say that's nice. In fact, uh, just just one sec, one sec. Um, yeah, one sec. You know what? I was gonna turn on the cursor, but I think it's easy enough for you guys to actually see the cursor moving. So I don't think that's gonna be much of an issue. Uh, okay. And yeah, this game is very gooey. Very uh, like there's a lot of stuff. Well, maybe not gooey. I guess I guess my I meant more of a heads up display sort of thing where you have a bunch of stuff going on the screen. Like we can actually see that there's a jackal and that's what his health is and that he's sleeping. And you can just highlight it over and uh Wow. That's very very convenient for figuring things out roughly. <coughs> hmm. So Okay, I guess just, uh, we'll try to kill it, the very first thing in the game. Can I just click to attack? Yes, okay. Or, I guess I can use the, the numpad stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, and there's our first victory, do-do-do, and you can see our experience bar went up. Uh, yeah, okay. So it seems like we're outside. This area happens to be cloaked in shadows, perhaps a safe place to hide. Well, that's interesting. To hide. I should probably take a look at the help. And the help, as always, is really big, and <laughs> we're not going to remember even a fraction of these right now. Auto-explore the level. Well, that's interesting. I guess... If you're not worried, I don't know. <laughs> auto explore and autopilot, and then just fight monster as in fight to the death. Well, that's yeah. Th okay, those are I guess just good shortcuts if you get really good gear and you know you can beat the crap out of everything. Search for secret doors and traps. Huh. Well, I guess if you wanted to rest until better or uninterrupted or rest. Okay, yeah, that's. That's the typical, just wait. Um, and that's, that's that. Uh, hold on, was there an equipment screen? Is there an equipment screen? That's a really good question. Uh, view inventory, yeah, that's probably what I'm looking at. So we got some colon food. We got an up arrow of a dagger. An up arrow of 15 darts. And a left square bracket of a leather armor that's being worn. So I start with a dagger, uh, yeah. and it looks like this this game uh, gives you limited inventory count. 
Rather than burdening you with weight and stuff. Although weight might also be an issue, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to that, I guess. Cobalt. Um, also sleeping. Cobalt, right. So these guys are easier than the jackal, basically. Looks like. And that's a jackal. Cobalt is hunting now, though, so I should probably deal with him. Attack. Attack. Yay. So what do we got here? A staff lying on the ground. You now have a rosewood staff. So I guess things are unidentified in this game, and you got to be wary of that. <clears throat> yeah, so... Uh, all right, let's just kill this guy. Assuming... Yay. I'm already getting close to leveling up here. It's, it's a miracle. You know what? I haven't turned on the music yet. Which, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. As long as I'm speaking all the time, it, things shouldn't get boring. But either way, uh, pink potion. So yeah, unidentified stuff, and we gotta figure out how to identify things. Uh, much like as it was in Frozen Depths, or for those of the you who are familiar with games, you know, the original Rogue and NetHack. Probably just a lot. Oh, so you can actually go and right into it's dense foliage. It's not actually a tree. So we got another cobalt thriving on what sunlight trickles in. Where am I? Oh, welcome to level two. Hooray! So there, I guess there's no classes in this game. Based on the name, I would I would guess that. Uh, uh, how, how would you say it? Oh, so you actually, what, cut through it? Oh, trampled, I see. <laughs> the brink of a chasm, and that is the chasm. Okay. I guess I need to be careful around chasms. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall and kill myself, basically. Dive? No. Not yet. I don't think I'm quite ready for that. So, that's just a stone wall. I wonder if you can slip and, and fall into the depths. Dip. The depth of this was. So I guess there's some time before they actually wake up. Or something. I'm not sure I understand that part. Of it. Jackal. 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 Yay. So, um, yes, this is playing B-Rogue, bro Brogue. I guess I'm just going to say both times each, both things each time. Um, right, so is there a way to look at stats, perhaps? I mean, I, I can see a lot of stuff right there. Is it just strength, or is there also a button for statistics? No, it doesn't look like it. It's very simple, you have strength, and that affects stuff. <laughs> okay, so... I think... Okay, there we are. What? Oh, looks like something else showed up. A rat! Oh boy, a rat. I can't imagine a rat being... Rat scratches me. Oh, did the game stop me when I got hit? Maybe that's what happened. So my nutrition's starting to... Oh, more enemies. Cobalt. That is not coming after me. Uh, so I have to go after it instead. What a pain. Do, 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 do. Okay, more chasm stuff. I'm kind of just looking for the downstairs stairs. Uh, the downstairs. Yes. Cobalt. Kill. What is he clubbing me with? I mean, if he's clubbing me with something, then he's surely carrying something. Can you club somebody with a hand? Isn't that really more like a punch at that point? By definition. Alright, so we're exploring through this dense foliage. And we get 107 gold pieces. Awesome. So, exploring more, exploring more. I can see why auto-explore would come in handy. This game looks like... Well, 
It's, um... Hmm. I mean, I guess technically Rogue and NetHack could have used Auto Explorers, too. To some degree. Welcome to level 3. Oh, yeah. Aqua Marine Potion. Apparently, potions have no uh, color coordination when it comes to the where it looks like on the other side. A key. What door might it open? Interesting. I'll just pick that up. You hear a deep rumbling noise from the floor. Oh. The altar retracts. What? When was there an altar? Oh boy. Must make it. Ha <laughs> I just made it just in time. I feel like Indiana Jones. That's that's totally what what people expect when they have to deal with situations like that. Chasms and more ca oh locked iron door. So there we go. Use your key in the locked iron door, and I end up going to a cool old place that's got stuff in it. That is sweet. Looks like I just found a vault with a carpet in it. Mahogany staff. Zero of two charges. It's lying on a candlelit altar. Maybe uh, I should look around first. They're all on, on altars, so perhaps I need to choose which one I get, and the rest is kind of screwed up on me. So, uh, yeah. Uh, what? How much is the leather armor? That's a three, and the splint mail is seventeen. Or wait, no, it's a. Uh. I guess I don't know how much it gives me until I actually wear it, perhaps. And then there's the War Axe, which is a 19. I don't know. <laughs> On the other hand, there are these staves. Right, staves recover its charge gradually over time. Well, that's nice. Uh, and then I have this Rosewood staff. How do I use stuff in this game? Uh, apply or activate an item. Okay. A. Rosewood staff. I guess that direction. There must be a staff of blinking. Because I totally just blink. Okay. And it just... So it doesn't tell me how many charges it has. Just what it does. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> uh, so yeah. We got potions, and I'm always worried about potions because there's usually one that's like a poison potion. Uh, wow! Attack all adjacent enemies simultaneously. That's convenient. So I think I'll take the splint mail. Yeah, that's what I figured. Ha! Huh. That was a good guess on my part, I guess. Splint mail, it is. I'm not going to wear it immediately. I guess I'll just wait until I get some strength or something. If I run into, start running into situations where my armor is inadequate, I know what to uh, what to expect. So have I been everywhere? You know, perhaps secret rooms aside? Probably. Oh, here's a cobalt. Wow, catching it unaware. What are the odds of that? Was it, was it backpedaling through that area? I can only imagine. Okay, on to the next floor. Uh, you descend. Descending has a... Oh, okay. <coughs> Monkeys. Uh, they can steal items. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Um, so I was gonna... I was, but, yeah. Uh, descend has big meaning in, in Homestuck. As does Ascending. It's uh, kind of funny, actually. What? Uh, dude ran away with my splint mail. I swear, if you jump into that chasm, monkey. You better not. Okay, good. The splint mail is mine again. Dense foliage. Okay, I think that was it. Stupid monkey. So this is cobalt and then some water. Water with actual graphicness to it. That's cool. I like that. Look, check out that water. 
game's turn-based and they make it look real. That's just... It's like the best thing right there. Shallow water... And then more shallow water... Murky waters... Staff... Oh, uh, Must get again. Okay, good. Let's just get out of there. <laughs> that looks like it could be a pain. So let's just avoid that at all costs for the time being. Grass like fungus. Just trample on all this. I wonder if there's a conduct where you can't trample on any foliage. I wonder if there are conducts. That's more of a net hack thing, really. You know, like pacifist, vegetarian. Ooh, there's a note on it. I mean, a scroll. Yes, that's exactly what it is. A scroll. Okay, I guess let's just check for enemies first. Potion. Orange potion. That's five different potions. Now I have a scroll entitled Pusful Moo's Herba. Which means absolutely nothing. Probably. Like potions and staves and just about everything, uh, in this game you have to... You know. Oh, come on, I have a 97% ch Oh, I've only missed once. If I only miss once, that's it. Scroll... And now I have Woos Woos Glorp Pus. Truly, uh... How did the water get through? Man. It's not a very good solid stone wall. Oh, they never said it was solid. Give them that. A suit of armor? Oh my. Really? I picked the one the one item that I'm just gonna get at is going to be made obsolete. Now we have Nurwoo's Nug Nuglu. Nuglu. And we got a monkey again. Come on, monkey. Right. Dude stole some food. Yep, come on, come on. There we go. I'm not really sure what happened. Okay, monkey, come on. Uh, just let me kill you, monkey. Please. Uh, stupid monkey. Okay, good. They just totally, uh... <laughs> kind of ganged up on each other. Monkeys defeated! Okay. Monkeys are dead. And it looks like, you know, health regenerates. That's pretty typical. Scroll lying on the ground. Ooh, another pu pusful moves herba. It's always good when you get multiple, because then you can... Well, if there's multiple, you can start guessing at which one's probably... Well, which ones have the likelihood of being round, and then when you figure out, you know, what those are, then you can figure out that if you're getting a lot, it's probably one of these kinds or something. Okay, more of this stuff. Why does it look pale? That, that uh, bothers me. Man, another one? Really? Really game? That wasn't very nice. I was thinking about the war axe. I was. Man. Room for seven more items. Okay, that's not so bad. Hope I'm not getting burdened by anything. Another Pusful Moose Herba. You know what? I'm going to guess that that's a scroll of identify, so. Did it work? Oh, alright, I have to activate. Oh, scroll of enchantment. Enchant what? Uh, uh, well, I only have one weapon right now. Let's enchant the dagger. So, that's probably a stupid one, but I mean, it's not bad. So I, I guess the the number here is the minimum strength requirement, because this just dropped, and I'm gonna guess that like, well, that's pretty much just a guess, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Is it worth killing eels? I bet it isn't. I bet they can drown you. And I don't want to drown. So, let's just go downstairs. <clears throat> you see a key. We're... That's pretty far away. And that's a pretty big, uh... 
pretty big pool of water too. So, Rogue is pretty fun, pretty fun. Ooh, dense foliage and shallow water. Yeah, I'm just trampling everything. <laughs> and nothing over there, although that could be like a secret thing. Just doing stuff. I can't tell if it's doing stuff. S is search for secret doors and traps. Oh, I guess I found one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm still suffering. Well, suffering is a bit much. I'm, re I'm still recovering from a <clears throat> from last week. Yeah, it was a good thing I recorded when I did. I just my health just kind of took a bit of a plummet there. It sucked. But I'm all better now, so... No worries there. Check. Yay! So I wonder if that's just the kind of thing where you figure it out really fast. And Indigo Potion. I mean, how many does that make? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not too bad. A new glow herb or pot powder. Yeah. Yeah, let's just kind of slit this monkey's throat. Oh, let's skip that song. That one's a little harder to listen to while you're playing video games. So much meowing. Kill the jackal. Gotta use the sight. Shoot the jackal. Um. So this is a very simplistic game. Even, certainly, almost more so than, than Frozen Depths, I'd say, just, uh, because, I mean, if you look at all the stuff here, it's very simple. There's, there's only inventory. You don't have to worry about, you know, doing special things with equipment. Uh, <clears throat> there's just one button to use everything. Uh, not a bazillion skills. You hit the goblin while it sleeps, yeah. Yeah, well, these guys are kill killable anyway. Oh, whoops. I was supposed to actually, like, go to the next song. Right, there we go. Cobalt, a rat, and a goblin. Okay, well, I'm just going to play uh, strategy. Oh. I guess they're all sleeping. How can they just be sleeping like that? What's up with that? Ugh. It's like, wake up, dude! Oh, there's a rat. A lot of enemies right there, over there. Hmm. <sighs> Pink potion. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. That's gonna be a pain, isn't it? Maybe they're telling me I lack the strength for it. Okay, there's the jackal. Kill the jackal. Catching it unaware. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I need to get that key. Let's go get that key. And there's a G. A goblin. Probably. Yep. Wandering. Okay, now, now it's on. Okay, these guys are actually kind of tough. Not uh, impossible, but certainly uh, on a level much more difficult than last time. Really. Okay, there's that secret door. That's what it was. You plunge... Oh man! Minus 40... Oh, boy. Ow. That hurt. Let's just wait some turns to get my help. In fact, let's eat. My nutrition's looking kind of low. Let's uh, eat one of them rations of food. Uh, is there a button for eating, or just apply? You're not hungry. Oh! Okay, now then. That's pretty much how you do things. So, is this... This is ground. Okay. And that is a toad. At worst, could defeat you in three hits. Wow, that's quite a... Or does he mean right now, at this very second, the odds? Maybe that's it. Oh man!
Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's hope this kills it. Whew. I defeated the goblin. She's clearly a goblin and not anything else. Uh, I think I'm just going to heal a little bit. Well, I'm not really getting the chance to heal, so... Uh... I guess I'll, like, chug a potion. That's usually what you do in a situation when things are looking rough, right? Must have been a potion of healing. Whew. Okay, thank goodness. Lucky me. I picked the potion of healing. Like, really? I mean, that was exactly what I was hoping to get. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the... When I need to be careful, I go to the... the Keyboard stuff. Suit of armor, banded mail. Okay. When do I get a strength boost? Do I need to find potions that give me strength boosts? I bet I have to do that. Oh, which one did I use? Uh, oh man, it doesn't tell me. I was supposed to remember which one that was. I think it was the indigo. For some reason, it's not, you know... Oh, come on, let's, let's go, let's go. Let's move it on out. Friggin' toad lickers. Sleeping... Not sleeping. Great. And I am hallucinating again. Okay. Well, that's not too bad, and I'm level 5. I'm still kind of hallucinating. Just a little bit. Okay, let's see if I can't get that key this time. Again. Fell a hole last time. Oops. Take some damage. Let's try again. Right there. Good. Oh, darn it. I take a lot of damage this way. Okay, what about, what about here, here, or here? Oh! Space to continue. They won't let me do enter. They, they specifically tell me when I press the enter key to sp press space instead. I can dig it. Okay, so that was a chasm. And now there's a cobalt somewhere. Oh, way over there. Way over there. Let's try this one. Okay, cool. Get this key. And my pack's too full to pick it up. Awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm actually hungry now, so let's, uh, let's go eat. That food tasted delicious. How about that? Well, let's use a scroll, but let's use it away from the keys. Uh, key. Just, just in case. You never know. <laughs> um, yeah, how about this one? What? Did I use it? Well, I guess I used it. Nothing happened. Uh, I guess maybe it was one of those where maybe... Are my hands glowing or something? Doesn't look like it. Was there also... Oh. You see a candlelit altar. Okay. Well, whatever. The point is, I have a key. And now I can beat the crap out of people with the key. <laughs> That's what you use keys for. Not anything else. All right, this is with the water stuff. Oh, I gotta go all the way around and do that stuff. Okay, there's the rat. Kill the rat. Make my way over to the cobalt again. Who's like wading in some water for some reason? I'll go through this door instead. Excuse me. And there's another key. Okay then. Do you not have a matching... Oh, it has to be a matching key. Well, I think I can drop the, uh... Something. Or let's just try to use another scroll, huh? Like, uh... Nurwu's Nugle. Nugle. Is that another that didn't work? Oh, right, I have to do that. Maybe that's what happened last time. Scroll of recharging. Oh, boy. 
Okay. This is going to be one with the chasm stuff, is that... No. Alright, well, no Indiana Jones this time. And this is a weapon of... just a weapon? Is it going to tell me? Ooh! Axe of Unknown Runic. Well, let's uh, equip. How do I equip? I don't equip like that. Uh, e to equip. Okay. So let's go ahead and use the... put the axe on. I can barely lift it. Okay, well, I guess I'll ignore it for now. Then. <laughs> oh well. Okay, and that was the room in or this other door. So we got a ring, we got a ring, got a war pike, chainmail, ace. Oh, d uh, uh, I need to be more careful around these things, apparently. I see a key. Another key! Crap. Too full. Well, let's try more scrolls. Summon monsters. Great. Let's try to make my way to a safe spot. There we go. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. That's good when... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What does that mean that that, that thing had? Billowing flames? That place on fire now? Is that what happened? Alright, into this room then. Where I can pick more stuff. Just kinda hoping to pick a ring, you know? Let's pick a ring. The ring. Ring of stealth. Ooh, and it just tells me what it is. Well, that's even better. Huh. Uh. I guess ring of stealth means I don't have to worry as much about waking guys up when I sneak up on them and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip that ring. Oh, jeez. Okay, so it was a cursed ring, based on this thing right here. Yeah. Man, I wish I'd gotten the other rings, though. So I got this friggin' war pike. Whoever uses a war pike, anyway. Nobody uses war pikes, that's who. Well, that was the whole area, so... Let's just go through again. Oh, kill a rat, maybe. Rats been killed. Yay. Now we can go back down here again. So we just go through. Wow, okay, that's lava. I'm surprised I'm not dead already being so close to it. I can't pick up the potion. Well, let's use this scroll. Let's get it farther away and use it. Turn it. There we go. Must have been a scroll of protect weapon. Around my axe, but... Oh. Okay. I thought I was... I thought I had that unequipped at this point. Whoops, there we go. I keep forgetting I need to press the... the special one. So, let's see. Oh, I bet if it's a cursed ring of stealth, then it's actually a ring that makes you horribly unstealthy. That would make a lot of sense. Okay, so bloats are flying. What does that actually mean for me? Can I hit it? Did I, did I hit it? Yeah, I hit, I hit it. Cool. Oh my! Okay. Caustic gas. And it is definitely... Expanding. Let's just try to get out of it before I get completely killed. And uh, oh my, it's still it's still coming. Oh, maybe there's some dispersion laws going on. Let's go ahead and rest until I find a rat. All right, so looks like it finished uh, dispersing, more or less. Yep.
Okay, and we're dealing with a goblin. So yeah, this cursed ring of stealth is probably totally awful. Cobalt pink jelly. Jellies are corrosive, if I'm not mistaken, from the days of net hacking. So we'll just kill these dudes. Yay. Halfway there to six, more or less. Pink jelly, yeah, poisonous pink goo. Oh, great. That's never a good... No, oh, buh. Smears me. Uh, and it splits in two. Great. Well, let's find a doorway. Splits in two. Defeated. Splits in two. Splits in two. Defeated. Splits in two. Defeated. I think this would be a great time to use my axe and, and hopefully uh, kill these things in one hit. Oh yeah, right, I can hit everybody adjacent to me when I do this. Your axe trembles and time freezes for a moment. Is that a good thing? I hope it's a good thing. Well, it seemed to work out rather well. I don't know about you guys. But I thought it worked rather well. So, yeah. And this is probably a secret. Yep, secret door. It's a jackal. Let's equip the dagger again. The jackal is nowhere. Way over there. Not gonna bother. <laughs> And there's a toad. Oh boy. Eight toads. Toads cause hallucinations. Which isn't so bad, but it's just kind of annoying. Oh boy, a tr Oh wait, I have no idea what that is. Hopefully it's just the jackal. Yeah, well, whatever it was, it was killed pretty easily. Oh, and there was a little thing that said when my duration was... Man, that is just the, the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me in a roguelike before. Made uh, really nice looking stuff that makes it uh, easy to figure out. Uh, let's just try to use the wand. Direction, that way. Whoa, what was that? That was... Does it even tell me? It's a brass wand that did it. <laughs> no idea what to say about that one. Uh... Inscribe this particular item instead of all similar items. No. All of them... I don't know. It looked like a force bolt to me. I have no idea if for force bolt exists in this game or what. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and use up the remaining scroll thing I have. Just to get it identified. Scroll of protect armor. Well, that's nice. Uh, let's put it on my best armor. Hopefully I can just kind of wear. And, uh... Let's see... Right here, yeah. There we go. Make it nice and... Nice and shiny. Just go ahead and... Use my leather thing again. Okay, so now... Now I can pick up this guy. I have no idea if it's going to be any use. But why not? And that was the whole floor, so... Uh, I think I'm going to cut it at this point, just, you know, I think this is a good amount, and I'm having fun! I hope you guys are too, it's, it's a blast playing more roguelikes again, playing new and exciting things and trying to figure everything out. So yeah, uh, this has been Game Hunter, and, uh, you know, next video will be more of playing through this, descending through, and stuff like that. So, uh, I'll see you then, take care.